What is up, you guys? It is me, formerly Tammy D. Shine, and now Tammy, I forgot my name, <laughs> totally Tammy XOXO. So, this is, this has been a journey. Um, I have been over here for like the past, I don't know how many hours trying to figure out how to do a live stream and share my screen and it is just not working out for me so but I do want to as I said in my previous video um this will be the tax lien part two where I'm actually showing you how to search them and as I said in my previous video I do want to take my channel in a different direction and kind of include some more pertinent content to what I have going on and things that I want to uh, continue to pursue and just some things I just want to share on this channel um, other than hair, even though this will still be a topic of conversation at some point, I do want to, like I said, expand uh, my channel. So this particular video is about searching um, tax liens, uh, acquiring tax liens from Arkansas. And Arkansas is my home state. I was born and raised there. Although I currently live in Florida now, I still own properties back in Arkansas. And I would look to acquire more. So, and one way to do that, that I found that has been inexpensive, but somewhat cumbersome, um, depending on how you go about it, uh, is acquiring tax liens. And these are properties that have gone, uh, become delinquent due to people not paying their property taxes at the end of the year. And they have to be delinquent for quite some time before they're actually put up to auction. Um, I forget the the length of time, but I think it's maybe over two, three years or something like that, maybe more before it's actually put up to auction and um, auctioned off to other people who can then place bids on them. So there are two websites that I typically use and um, the first one where the properties are is cosl.org and this is the commissioner of oh, sorry i have paint on my hand i was doing a project earlier but this is um cosl.org and this is the commissioner of state lands um website in arkansas where the properties are listed and the other one that i use is ar cap excuse me arcountydata.com and this particular site I use is to look up parcel numbers. And what that means is the, basically the numbers associated or tied to the particular plots of land or whatever uh, kind of land is being auctioned off. But you can use this site to um, kind of get a better view and a little bit more information about it. But we'll get into that in just a second. So going back to COSL, there are a couple videos that you can watch on this website to kind of get familiar with what the process is. There's a lot of literature some buyers beware literature that's on this site that you need to take a look at before purchasing properties. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate agent. I am someone who obtained this information from a great person. Thank you if you're watching who passed this information along to me and I just wanted to share it with you all. Okay. So, and before I do that, there is something I wanted to share with you all. Let's see if I can mirror this real quick. Okay, this is something that I wanted to share with you all really quick before I got started. Um, this is an actual copy of a property that I currently own and what I paid for this particular property. Now I'm showing you this because it is a legit thing. There are so many people on YouTube that have these videos filled with a lot of fluff and not actually how to get to the meat and potatoes of what you're looking for. So I'm showing you this to let you know that I have done it and I, I still own a lot of these properties. Some of them I may let go because it's just a lot to deal with. but. As you can see, for this particular parcel, and we'll look this one up as well, um, I paid $75 for this particular parcel. I just crossed out some information, but you can see there's my name right there. Uh, there's the costs, as you can see. Um, Tammy has paid to the Commissioner of State Lands the sum of $75. 
an amount negotiated by the commissioner of state lands and said purchaser. So long story short, I bought this particular plot for $75. Right, so that's something that I just wanted you to see, okay? Because it's real out here in these streets. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. And to do that, the first thing you want to do now, there are multiple ways to do this. I'm not an expert. So if you have any um, insight for me, please share. You can do live auctions and you can do post auctions. Um, I'm not always on here to catch the live auctions, but I do enjoy going to the post auction sales list. Basically the post auction is what it sounds like. These are properties that are listed after the auction has already taken place. These are properties that nobody bid it on, or if they did, they weren't, uh, they didn't make good on it and they got placed on this list. So it's almost like kind of, um, combing through properties that people kind of didn't want to see um, what's out there. And to do that, what you want to do is click on post auction sales list. And this is where it says online auctions of unsold properties. This is a video resource to actually get to um, that information. It says here you start bidding. So being that these are not live auctions at the time, when you place your bid, you'll just have to submit them electronically and then the Commissioner of State, Land, of State Lands will review it and then let you know um, whether or not your bid was accepted. So, and these are, again, there's a lot of information on the previous page that you can go and look through before doing this. And I'll give you your, this is the first $100. Now, back when I purchased it, they, a lot has changed. Um, people have gotten onto this, so I think the, the minimum you probably won't get $75 for, so we'll see. All right, so we'll go ahead and go to list view. And these are a list of the delinquent properties that are out here. And as you can see, it has the option to bid on it. So for instance, when I told you about the parcel number, okay, so let me just make this a little bit bigger just cover myself up a little bit so here you have the owner the county the parcel number which is the number that is associated with the property then you have the township the range the starting bid for the property the current bid for the property and uh, sometimes they'll give you uh, visibility of what this particular parcel looks like. So let's just start with one that has a map to it. So for this particular parcel, the current bid is 3000. So why is it so high? Let's take a look and see what's on here. Then it gives you this disclaimer. Okay, and this is why I use the other site because sometimes you're not always able to see. Let's see if we can click on that parcel number. So yeah, you're not always able to see the size of the parcel. Let's see if we can scroll down. And this is basically a list of all the owners or previous owners that were that had this property. Okay, yeah, it's just not showing what I need to see. So I usually just take this parcel number and control copy and I plug it in here. And what county is this? Did I pick Pulaski? Actually, let me go back. Oops, let's go back. Let's start with, I wonder if it allows me, this is the list view. Let's see what the map view looks like. No, it's easier to do the list. And it also, you can export this uh, Excel sheet. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so yeah, it's just an Excel spreadsheet of all the information that you see in this other view here. And this is probably easier to kind of pull these parcel numbers. Okay, perfect. Okay, this Excel spreadsheet, I can search by county. So what I'm gonna do Pulaski County is pretty large in Arkansas. Um, I have properties there and I have properties in Saline. So let's go ahead and can I uncheck these? Yeah, let's do let's let's do Saline County. Let's do Saline County. So I'm gonna select Saline. 
And I'm going to pull one of these parcel numbers from Celine. Now, on this spreadsheet, hopefully you can see it. The starting bid for this first one that I'm going to select is $147.69. $147 so what I'm doing and what I typically like to do is before selecting a property, I like to see what it looks like or have an idea of what it looks like. So if you go to arcountydata.com and then you come over here and you select Celine and then you plug in the parcel number that you copied over from uh, the spreadsheet and click search. It gives you the current owner, the address, and the location of it. And then you can look it up like this. Click the parcel number. And this gives you so much information about the property. So it gives you basic information like who owns it, their mailing address, and all that jazz. And it gives you um, how big the lot is. And it's a vacant lot, which means it is undeveloped and there is no, there is no structure erected on this land. And the it's one lot and it's 12,000 over to a little over 12,000 square feet. Okay. And then um, this is sales information, like how much it was purchased for or sold for and purchased for in the past. Valuations, um, what is appraised for, how much the taxes are. And they're pretty low. As you can see, it's like nine bucks and, you know, and they're delinquent. And uh, some receipts and stuff like that. And then the parcel boundary. This is the part that I like is you get to see how big it is and what it looks like. So what we want to do is take a look at the parcel. So this is basically the size of the parcel and this is what it's going to look like. I think there is a satellite view. There we go. So this is what the satellite view looks like. As you can see, what you want to take into account when you're looking at properties is that where is it located? Um, this, what is the size of it? Is it big? Is it small? Is it like this little slither of corner? Like, if, is it like at an intersection? Because they do have some out here that have, um, that are like the intersection where the light post is or something like that, you know, because at one point it wasn't developed. And then the way they section it off and some people buy, they buy a portion of it and not the other. But anyway, so this is what this particular lot looks like. It's in the Hot Springs Village area. There are so many things that you need to look out for when you are purchasing these things or looking to it. Check and make sure that the lots that you are purchasing are not associated with any HOA fees. Hot Springs Village area is a beautiful area. If you look it up, it's the largest um, gated community in the United States. However, each lot is associated with, um, what are those things called? They're associated with, um, what are those, mo those monthly fees? HOA fees. They have HOA fees associated um, with each lot. Every single one of them, they have, they're associated with HOA fees. And I'm not sure what the cost is now, but back then it was about $30, $35. So I'm sure it's gone up since a, a few a few years ago. So if you don't want to encumber additional costs, make sure you check the area or the subdivision or the location of the lot that you're at. And just, you can do that by, you know, checking um, with the, the HOA board or whoever. But yeah, if you don't want to incur additional costs with purchasing tax lands then make sure you, or tax deeds, then make sure you don't purchase one that has, that are associated with HOA fees. But if you're good with that, then purchase it. So that's completely up to you. But that's where this one is located. It is located in um, Hot Springs Village area. And uh, the last sale price for this was 50 bucks. And that was back in May of 2015. And again, that's about the time that I purchased mine. So the going rate was pretty good back then. Um, and this one is up for grabs. So, but that's what it looks like. It's, it's looks like it's in an undeveloped area. It's full of trees, uh, but it's, surrounded by some areas that have been developed. So you also want to look at the potential that's around it. Like if all of this was wooded and none of this was developed, then it may take some time for the developers to come through this particular area. So buying and holding, you know, I don't know, like I said, I'm not a realtor, not an expert, but it's just some, um, some inferences that you can make 
uh, based on the locale of the lots that you're interested in. But since this one has a home here, there's homes here and here, looks like they're getting to develop in this area. And I think there might be a home up here. I'm not sure, or maybe that's a street, but this may be potentially a good lot. It just depends on what your preference is. So um, with that being said, I'll go ahead and exit out of that one and we'll go ahead and do a new search. And again, that one was like, I think $147. And let me just go back to this here. I don't know if I can, let's do ongoing auction. So these auctions are still open. Now, back in the day, they had it to where they had if if the property taxes were delinquent two years and older, then you could bid whatever you want. And it's up to them to accept it. But if they're two years in current, then you have to pay the listed price. I don't know if that's still the same. So that's something you may want to check out. But the current bids on these, I want to see what these people are bidding for. I don't know what county this is. So let me click on here. All right, we got the parcel number here. Just don't know. This doesn't show you a lot of information. This one is just really, let's just go to Data Scout. Let's see if it pulls up what we want to see. Oh, there we go. So it does pull up some information. I forgot about that. So this is in, that's their mailing address. The estimated value of this land is 2000. And then you scroll down, it gives you take forever to open it's land only meaning there's no erratic structures uh property information it's where it's located i still don't know what county it is hmm. i'm waiting for it to open up but it's not going to let's see let me see if I can find it on this spreadsheet. Well, this is all Saline County, but I kind of want to see what the, it's not opening yet. Let me go back here. Let me see what it looks like to just bid on one. Let's go ahead and bid. Let's see, what district is this? It's easier to, okay. So you can just place bid, current bid of 190. So you must be logged in. Oh. I think I have a, an account I haven't logged in yet. Okay. So basically this is where you would go to place a bid. I need to know what county this stuff is in. I, once upon a time I could sort it on this. Let's see if it'll, does it have an option for a county? Oh, right here, hello. Okay, let's do Pulaski now. Pulaski, Pulaski, here we go. Filter, okay. It's, ooh, they got some on here that's worth a lot. That's being uh, auctioned for a lot. This one is 8,000. Usually if it's high, it's probably like a commercial property or a large lot or a property that has an erected structure on there, like a house or a building or something like that. So let's take a look and see what it is. Let me take this parcel number. Current bid for this is, ooh, it's starting at 8,000. Nobody's bid on it yet. So let's take a look and see why it's so high. Let's go to back this up a little bit and do Pulaski County. You have to make sure that when you're searching different counties on arcountydata.com that you um, plug in the correct county. Ooh, Pulaski. Okay, and let's just plug in this parcel number to see what people are bidding on. Okay, so there's the address there, and we can also copy and paste this into like Zillow or something like that to get a, a better view. And it gives you all the information that we kind of went over before. And this lot is 7,000 square feet. Looks like it's in a residential area by the length of it. This is just stuff that you pick up over time. So let me see if it gives me uh, a 
let's see, scroll down. Well, it's not giving me a whole lot of information. So what I'm gonna do is plug this property address into, what well, says map this address. Let's see if it'll let me do that. Okay, so Google Maps. This is where it's bringing us. Ah, and this is another thing. This is why it's always good to look at the property. So from what I'm seeing right here, this vacant lot, and let's just go back and double check. Okay, that one still never came up. I just want to see, there should be an inf some information on here that says whether it's a vacant lot. RES means residential lot, which means um, homes. It's not a commercial property. Oh, it's, it's land. There are no improvements on it. Let's see. Okay, so I think this is a vacant lot, if I'm not mistaken. It's just probably so high because it has a potential for um, a resale or aftermarket value where like once the house gets up and all that kind of stuff, it'll be worth a lot. So if it's in a residential area, people tend to buy it quicker. Okay, so I think this is a vacant lot. <clears throat> Let me see if it'll tell me over here. Let me try to map it on here. So Data Scout Pro, okay, they show it on here. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, this is a good view. Eh, kinda, you just see trees. And let me just click here. Residential lots, not saying it. Usually it'll say type right here as a vacant lot, but it looks like, a. oh, here it is. Yep, type is a residential vacant lot. So it's a place where you can put a house, but the lot is currently vacant. So that's what this is. It is definitely a vacant lot. And you can kind of look around the neighborhood, peruse, and see if this is an area that you think has potential for growth or potential for you to live in or have a renter live in, um, however you want to do it. So, But that 8000 that bid is started for this residential lot. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for right now. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll definitely do some more and kind of delve into it. We kind of read over some of the um, stipulations that you that are out there before buying. So, but yeah, this is just a quick way to kind of get you out here and be like, yeah, there's some stuff out here for you to look at. But like I said, there's a buyer's guide legal description, how it's listed, liens and mortgages. There's so much that you have to take into account when doing this. And we can discuss that in another video. But in the interim, this has been Totally Tammy XOXO. And thank you so much for joining me for my first revamp video. And I'm still working on how to share my screen and go live with doing some of this stuff because I think it'll be a lot easier, especially if you have like any questions that I may be able to answer. So in the interim, please stay with me, but if not, I completely understand. And as always, be blessed.